Hey, I'm Savannah. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a all a drugstore makeup look. I'm super obsessed with how it turned out. So if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I have a ton of new drugstore products that I'm really excited to try. And I think for a foundation, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation. I've never tried this, but I think this is something that I'm really going to like because I tend to go for like hydrating foundations instead of matte foundations. And the reviews it seemed to be pretty good. So I'm going to put this on my hand first. I don't really know like what the coverage is for this foundation. The shade might be a little too light, but we'll just have to see. This is in the shade um, 35 Nude Beige. Okay, I'm really liking this foundation so far. It's really pretty on. And the color actually matches pretty well too. And I can like darken it up with bronzer and stuff. But I'm going to go in with just like a little bit more just to see if it's buildable. I would say like it's about medium coverage. And it seems like that it is pretty buildable. Now for concealer, I'm going to use this Flower Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. It looks like this, and I've actually used this before, and it kind of creased a little bit, like, right after I put it on. Like, I looked in the mirror, like, 20 minutes after doing my makeup, and it was starting to crease already. But I'm going to try it again, and I'm going to try setting it a different way to see if that helps. And this is in the shade... Um, fair and then I'm just gonna take my damp beauty blender and blend this out The concealer looks really good right now, so hopefully it doesn't crease on me again if I use like a different setting powder. And I'm going to use the same concealer to set my eyelids. Okay, so my concealer's on, and then to set everything in place, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and this is in the shade um, 10 Fair Light. So, like, there's a ton in the cap, so I'm just going to put a little bit on my beauty sponge, and then I'm just going to lightly set my face. I don't want to use too much because I don't want it to be too matte or anything. So I usually never bake underneath my eyes, but I just didn't want any creasing, so I just used the same Fit Me powder. And then now I'm going to go straight in to my eyeshadow. And I've never tried this palette before. This is the Nude Mood by ColourPop. It's really pretty packaging. It has little flowers on it. And then the colors are all just like nudes and some shimmers. So I think what I'm going to do is just do like a nude base. And then I have this e.l.f like shimmer so I'm gonna do that in the center of my eye so to start off I'm gonna use this pretty light shade right here and I'm gonna pack this on I'm not gonna go across my whole lid just right here I always like doing this because this helps like really open and make your eyes bright
Okay, so now I'm going to take just a really fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's just like a really basic nude. Um, this is the shade Bear to Wear. And then this is just going to go along the crease of my eye. And then now I'm going to go in with just a little bit of a darker shade right here. This is on Natural, so I'm not going to use as much as I did the other shade. So just a little bit since this is a lot darker. And I feel like these shades aren't that pigmented. I've been having to use like a lot of color, but it's not like patchy or anything. So that's good. So now that I have my transition shades in, I'm just going to use a little bit of this shade Moody. This is like the darkest shade in this palette. And I'm going to use a pretty dense brush. And I'm just going to put this on the outer portion of my eye. And then I'm going to go back in with my original brush and just make sure there's no harsh lines. So my camera just died, so I had to charge it for a little bit. So all I did to finish off my eyes was add this, um, this white shade that I added at the very beginning into my inner corner again. And then I took my bake off. So now that all of my shadows are on, I'm going to go in with this really pretty like rose gold shimmer. This is by e.l.f. and it's in the shade Flirty Birdie. I've never tried this before. And I'm just going to add this to like kind of just the center of my eye. And then I'm just going to take my finger and just like kind of spread it out. Okay, so this is actually a really pretty. I really like this little shimmer. I don't really know if you can see it that well. But I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. Before I finish off my eyes with lashes and mascara and all of that, I'm just going to let that shimmer sit for a little bit. So now I'm going to go in with this Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I used to use this all the time and then I just kind of stopped. And I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes just to like make them a little more bright. And this will also help like clean up any excess shadow and stuff. And then for my brows, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I really like this because this reminds me of the Urban Decay Brow Blade that I usually use all the time. It's very similar. So like on this side, it has like a little pencil and this side it has a spoolie, which is really nice. So I'm going to take the spoolie first and just brush my brows upwards. And I don't know what shade I'm in for this. It doesn't say. I'm in the shade Deep Brown. So now I'm just going to take this little pencil side and I'm just going to fill in like anywhere that I have open gaps or anything. So I mainly just focus this just towards the front because that's where I have most of my gaps and stuff. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for my brows. And then now for bronzer, I'm going to be using this Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade Soleil. So it looks like this, and it's really pretty. It has like a really nice shimmer to it. And I was going to cream contour with the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I've never tried this before, and I was really excited to try it. But I already set my face and everything, so I'll just have to use that next time. So I'm just going to take this Morphe brush and bronze up my cheeks. I like how this has like a little bit of shimmer to it since my eyes have a lot of shimmer. So it just kind of brings the whole look together. And 
and now I'm just going to clean up my bronzer a little bit and I'm using the same banana powder Next for blush, I'm going to be using this ColourPop blush in the shade Count Me In. This is like a cream blush, and I've never tried this before. So I'm going to use this Morphe M442. It's just like a little stippling brush. I think this brush will work for this, so we'll see. I'm not really sure if that's how you were supposed to use this blush, but I think it worked pretty well. And then now I'm going to go in with highlight, and I'm going to be using a highlight that I actually really like a lot. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. This is so pretty. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of this, because I don't want too much, since we have like a really bold eye. And you only need a tiny bit. This is like a really intense highlighter. Put that same highlighter in my inner corner. So now I'm going to go back in and finish off my eyes with mascara and false lashes. So for mascara, I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. This is definitely my favorite drugstore mascara. It's really, really good. So I'm just going to put a little of this on. You honestly don't even need false lashes with this mascara because this mascara is so good. Then for lashes, I'm going to be using the Ardell Wispies. So I already cut them and everything and now I'm just going to put the glue on and wait like a few minutes so it can get tacky. Okay, so my lashes are on. I always try to put them on while I'm on camera, but I can never do it for some reason. So the last thing that I need to do is eyeliner, and this is the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pencil, and it's just like a black shade. So I think I'm just going to put this in my waterline. I'm not going all the way across my waterline. I'm just going about like a little more than halfway. I almost forgot lips. So for lipstick, I'm going to be using this Nude Lust lipstick. I'm not sure which brand this is. Oh, this is Maybelline. So it's in the shade Nude Lust. Okay, so that completes this makeup look. I will have all the products that I used linked down below in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video.